So hey, what's up everyone? There's a bunch of stuff here that I'm really excited about that I just got for some new things that are happening on this channel. And this thing right here, I'm really excited about this one. I'm getting contacted more and more with companies wanting me to review their products, which is awesome, it's really cool. Anybody that wants me to review anything can just send it. They don't even have to ask, so. Uh, this right here is called a Sonic Wow, Sonic massage gun. I don't know anything about it, but they're sending them to like a lot of YouTubers and Instagrammers and stuff like that. So I thought, why not? Why don't I just say yes? And uh, they sent it. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh. Joel, he's the guy that reached out to me. All right, so here is the massage gun. <laughs> uh, so, team of directions, but okay. That's cool, a little foam ball. That looks like it'll hurt. Oh geez. These look like, these look like they'll really hurt. <laughs> Charge the battery fully for up to six hours before using your Sonic for the first time. <sighs> Whoa. There it goes. <laughs> okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. How do you turn it off? Cool, well. I'm gonna charge it. Anybody else out there wants to send me stuff to review? Go ahead. Um, the address is in the description. I actually think this is gonna be pretty cool if it works. Next, a bunch of the stuff that I did buy is for different like setups, but also possibly maybe to live stream. I don't know yet. Oh yeah, the ball head, display port cable, a HDMI adapter, a drill bit set. <sighs> Tools new album. This is a flexible LED panel. Desk mount for monitor. This new monitor. So, story behind it. It's a 27 inch monitor. It was like, I think I bought it for like 150 bucks at Best Buy. It's not a good monitor. Uh, the colors on it are weird. Different sections of the screen are different brightness. I've been making all my videos basically on this monitor, upload them to YouTube, and then I will go like play them on my phone and play them out in my living room, on my TV, on my Apple TV, just to make sure the colors are okay. And a lot of times what I'll have to do is take notes, come back in here and change the colors. And so, enter this monitor. Oh, can you see it? <laughs> this is a BenQ, 32 inch monitor, 4K, it's like, it's a professional photographer, videographer, monitor. I've been looking at this one for a while. Comes with this like hockey puck controller. So, this is massive. Oh my god. It worked! Those icons are so small down there. I'm not kidding. I'm actually like surprised this worked right out of the box. The reason why I wanted to get this was because I have probably a couple hundred hours of editing ahead of me for this Triple Crown project with Rob. Projects of my own that I need to be editing. I'll put a link to this down in the description so you can go check it out, see if maybe you would like. I'll also put a link to the 27 inch because 32 is pretty huge.
Oh, I just ordered the new Ultra Lone Peak 4.5s. I'm very excited for those to come in. Hi, how you doing? Got this pass. Thank you, sir. So, I hit find GPS before I started recording this, and it's been a minute and 30 seconds, and it just found GPS. So, yeah, I have to say, the Sunto 9 Barrow has been not the best watch in the world for me. I'm still trying to put my thoughts together for like an actual review, but I don't even know if I'm going to really film it because, I don't know, I'm just not just not terribly excited about it so I got other things I'd rather do but I'm just gonna take this first lap like super super easy oh, here we go right by, right by the trash cans <laughs> oh shoot I totally forgot King MT's um, I'm wearing them at least for the first lap I've got my Olympus in the car as well Kings are so minimal I guess if I wore them every day, my body probably get used to them, but I don't. All right, so pretty soon we're gonna see if there's any water on this course. It's like a swamp back here, so there usually is. I'm just really hoping that there's not, because it's like 30 degrees right now. Maybe it'll all be frozen. That'd be nice. All right, so there's about a mile and a half of that kind of prairie, like grass path. And then you hit some pavement and then you're onto the trails. So I'm six miles into this and an hour and 10 minutes. And stupidly, I didn't take a gel with me. I can feel myself starting to get low. I got at least like four or five miles left back to the car. So I'm doing some walking breaks from running, which is probably good anyway, because it'll probably save my legs a little bit. I'm trying to get back to the Jeep in good shape. Yeah, should have taken a gel. And my battery's also about to die, but I don't think I've mentioned, I should say that I started this run fasted. All I've had today was a cup of coffee and a glass of water. So that's also why I'm low on calories. I've had nothing to eat since yesterday. Another wet spot. <laughs> See that bridge over there? I'm gonna cross that in about a mile. Running down the air and tight and claustrophobic surroundings. I'm having a really hard time right now. This eye 
will not stop watering and like I can't see the ground clearly with all these like leaves roots and rocks I'm like freaking out because I don't want to roll my ankle again it's like so blurry because it won't stop watering just finish it up here stopping here at 10 and a quarter miles two hours I was not smart and did not take any fuel and I'm gonna do Camille's orange drink So the reason why I am taking an electrolyte mix, even though I'm done running, is to replace my electrolytes, but then also get some sodium back in my body, um, along with the fluids. It'll help me not get a headache later, which is one thing that does happen to me uh, when I get dehydrated. Well, this battery's gonna die here in a second, but I'm gonna head home. I need to film some stuff. I need to edit some stuff and also today is the first day of the Western States lottery sign up so I'm going to sign up for that. Alright, see ya. It's a couple things. Uh, it's Thursday. Um, Western States, the lottery has been open for a couple days. Uh, I just haven't done it yet. There's no Hard Rock lottery this year. If you don't know, Hard Rock uh, was cancelled this year, 2019, everybody's points stay exactly the same. Those that were in 2019 get into 2020. Yeah, so my last qualifying race was Run Rabbit Run 2018. Also, I'm loving, I'm absolutely loving this 4K monitor, 32 inches. It's amazing. So anyway, that's why there's no Hard Rock Lottery this year, so you don't even have to sign up for it. But I am going to sign up for Western States right now. Here we go. 100 miler registration. Okay, here we go. Where is it? 2019 Hallucination 100. Boom! Bib number request 97. Don't take it. How many times have you finished Western States? Zero. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm done. Confirmation. There we go. Pending credit card order. Woo! Cool, cool, cool. Uh, now I'm going to open some stuff. I got some new shoes from Ultra, you know it. Uh, got a couple pairs of the new Gators. If you don't run with Gators, you should uh, in certain situations. I have an old version of these, but I don't have this version. And it's the new Solstice XT. Bam! I just thought the white was such a cool color. I just had to, had to have it. Uh, it's the XT, so it's a little bit, um, uh, the, the bottom, this is like full rubber. You can see that uh, it's made for like being in the gym, but also for running, a little more support. Uh, the sides are more supported. This is like a rubbery plastic right here. Uh, this is just my first impression, so uh, everything else looks really similar. So I'm going to, you know, wear these like at the gym. Uh, when I do like my stability exercises, stuff like that. And then I'll probably also take them out on a run. And then these right here. And these are the shoes that have been long anticipated. It's the update to the Lone Peaks. The Lone Peak 4.5. Oh my gosh, look at that. I went with the lime yellow color. What's it called? Lime and red. In person, they're actually really cool. Double tabs back here so you can pull them on quick. Um, the sole is supposed to be updated so that uh, one big complaint is that they flattened out after 20 miles or so, the old ones. Uh, so hopefully these uh, stay bouncy longer. Other than that, there's not a whole lot of updates to this version. Uh, it's just the brand new one. So I'll be testing these out. And for both these shoes, I'll put up a video eventually, like a review video. Oh yeah. Um, that Life Pro Fitness Gun from the beginning of the video, it's amazing. I'm gonna put it actually properly in a video soon, but it's amazing. 
but yeah, that's it. I've just been like slaving away on this Triple Crown project, just watching all of the shots, uh, organizing, putting it together, trying to figure out what the story is going to be. Because when you film any type of like documentary style thing, it's not really clear what the story is until you start editing. <laughs> Nowadays, a lot of like the really super high-end professional documentaries that like Netflix or National Geographic does or whatever, like those are planned out. I mean, for the most part, documentaries, you get in there, you start shooting, you have no idea what's gonna happen. When you're done, you put your camera away and load it all into your computer and you still have no idea what's gonna happen and you just pray that the footage you got is gonna be usable because you have no idea how you're gonna put all this together. Uh, and then you start editing it and you still feel like crap and you're like, holy crap, what did I get into? And then you spend a couple months on the edit and then all of a sudden like a story comes out of it. That's the process that I'm in right now. I'm like watching all the video back and pretty much in my head thinking like, crap, like what have I got myself into? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, Rob. Don't have anything to show you guys because it's going to be this big like series slash maybe, I don't know what it's gonna be. So that's it. I'm gonna start working on that now and I will see you guys again soon. Bye. <laughs>